Hi everybody. Welcome back to the Tax Suppers channel. Today in this video we are going to look at a very important adapter of Oracle integration which is DBAS database as a service adapter which will help you to connect to the Oracle Cloud DB using that Oracle integration. So let us see how this can be achieved in Oracle integration. So before I start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. So now let's get started. So now what we are going to do, we are going to first describe what are the various prerequisites to connect to the Oracle database in Oracle integration. The first is make sure you have Oracle Cloud Virtual Machine or bare metal database instance ready, which we are going to connect in Oracle integration. We should have the database username, password. The DB pod must be opened in the subnet of the database. So when you create a Oracle Cloud database instance, whether it's a virtual machine or the bare metal DB instance, you have to provide the VCN and the subnet in which you want to provision. It can be your private subnet, it can be a public subnet. But for this video, I am considering I have a virtual machine database instance in the public instance, which will provide me the public IP. So I, I need to open the pod of the DB into the public subnet. I will show you that one. And then you must have the Oracle integration instance to connect to this Oracle DB. So here we are going to use that DBAS, Oracle DBAS adapter in Oracle integration. So here I am on the Oracle integration page and let's use that DBAS adapter. So before I use the DBAS adapter, let me go to this Oracle Cloud dashboard. And here you can see under that Oracle database, if I go to this Oracle base database VM, uh, VM, VM, I have already created this DB system. Okay. If I click here, you can see I have created into this VCN IT VCN and this is my pub subnet. The pub subnet is the name of the subnet which I have created under this and this is my public subnet. The port is 1521. Host prefix I have given dab db and then host domain name if you see this is my host domain name and scan dns name is like dab db hyphen scan and then dot domain name so here if i go a little down you see i have taken the enterprise edition the available data storage the storage size everything and here this is my database dab01 if i go to the node it will show me the public ip why it is public because i have deployed that oracle database in the public subnet otherwise you should not have this public you should have only the private ip okay so now let us look at how to create so before i create let me also show you one thing like i have opened this 1521 pod in the security list of this public subnet. So if I go to this IT VCN, I will go to this pub subnet and with this subnet, this is the security list. If I come here, I have opened a port already from the public IP, meaning from the web 0.0.0. .0. This is my destination and this is the destination port. This is the source from where the request will come and this is the destination port. Okay, so make sure you have this pod open already. If you don't want it to give zero, zero, make sure you give the side the range from where you want to connect, if not Oracle integration. So let's go there and go to the create button and search your DBAS adapter and select, and let's say Oracle DBAS connection and simply click on a create button. So here you need to provide host, pod and service name. How do I, how do I get it? Go here, go to the database again, open your database. So first you need a public IP, go to the nodes and it's your public IP of database. The pod, pod, I will get it from here. You see 1521. 
1521 and the service name how you get the service name service name if you again go to the node if you click on our show this is the public not this one you need to go to the database and you go to this tab 01 and click on this db connection and if i click on this show against this long show and here you can see the service name dab01 hyphen db this is the unique name of my db and then host name so this is the combination of two things i'll copy the same and give it here so this dab01 underscore db i have given while creating and this pub subnet is the subnet dot the vcn dot oracle vcn dot com so that will come automatically depending on the subnet and then vcn and now here i am going to use username password token and i will enter my sys as sysdb as of now and the password of it let me take the password and i will enter the password make sure everything is ready and make sure if 1521 port should be open in the security list of the public subnet if it is not you will not be able to connect and you may get a db network error so let's test it and you see you are getting connection oracle db's connection was tested successfully okay you can save it now if i remove it let me show you if i remove that uh, entry from the security list what error i am going to get so i'll go there i'll go there i'll go there and will remove this entry remove okay now if again i click on a test it will take little time to get the error let's wait and see so you see here it is still uh rounding is trying to make a connection but the database connection is not the port is not open in the security list of the subnet hence it will not connect so let the let's wait for the error to come See, unable to establish connection please check connection par parameters network adapter cloud could not establish the connection so you are going to get this error when the port is not open now i can make this port again add ingress to try zero the port 1521 add ingress rule okay you see the rule has been added and let's test it again Here we go. Connection or Oracle DBS connection was tested successfully. I can simply save it and then come back, and I can use this connection to call my database. So, guys, that's all about this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. interest you can always watch see my blog https colon slash slash www.taxsupper.com thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye